Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I am in a fun challenge, which I will go over a little bit later in the video. It is a Hello Spring themed challenge. So I do have three really cute uh, spring home decor DIYs to share with you. You guys know I do post my videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you guys do like um, home decor DIYs, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, um, how-to videos, you are in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, let's begin with the first DIY. Guys, I wouldn't say this. Well, it is a DIY. I've People have told me that because I am making it, it is still considered a DIY. This cute little cake stand came from target just this year i absolutely love it um, it has this little bunny as the handle so all i'm going to do is just make this little type cloche i'm going to add some of this floral moss from the dollar tree and i found some of these pitberry um, stems these are from the dollarama but i bought these a couple years ago but i love these ones because they had all those little multiple uh, pastel colors that remind me of easter just putting those in there as well these cute little moss bunnies came from the dollar tree this year i believe they came out last year too if i'm not mistaken but i only found them this year super exciting so just kind of staging them how i want And I found these cute little mini plastic Easter eggs from Hobby Lobby this year. Everything was 40% off when I did get them. So I'm just going to add just a few of the colors. So this pastel raffia came from the Dollarama this year. Um, I, I believe it was $1.50 or $1.75. Great price for these. Um, it was pink, blue, and white. I usually go towards the pink, as you guys know, I absolutely love pink, but I thought the blue went a lot better in this DIY. So I just made a simple shoelace bow and I'm just gonna hot glue it to one of the bunnies. And I'm gonna put the lid right back on guys. And that is it for this, we'll call it a DIY, but I thought it was super cute. This cake stand can be used for anything. It can be used for real cakes as well, guys. <laughs> but what do you guys think of this one? I just love it. It's great for a centerpiece on your coffee table or your dining room table. Yes. All right, guys. So for the challenge today, it is called Hello Spring, and it is hosted by Tammy with The Rested Willow. And we have Ellie with DIY from House to Home. And guys, yay, I am the co-host today. So I hope you guys are going to stick around and take a look at this awesome playlist. There's going to be so many talented, wonderful ladies in this challenge. You will not be disappointed. And I'm going to leave all those information in my description box as well. All right, guys. So moving on to the second DIY, this gorgeous wooden tag came from my good friend Carrie with Carrie's Crafts and Things. So I just went ahead, removed the jute twine, and I went ahead and stained both sides of the tag with the Waverly Antique Wax. Um, now I found these gorgeous wooden laser cut butterflies from the Dollarama this year for $1.50. They had two different sizes. So I'm taking two large and two small, going to use um, the folk art ballet pink and the deco art um, white acrylic paint. So they're both acrylic paints. So I'm just kind of staging them where I want to see um, how it looks before hot gluing them in place. So now I'm gonna just take the jute twine that came with the tag. I'm just gonna undo the knot and reattach it to the tag. You'll see it in just a second. I just thought it would be nice to add a little bit more detail. So I had these wooden beads from my good friend, Pamela. She is all the way from Newfoundland, Canada. Thank you so much, Pamela, for these beads. So I am going to just use a pink one and a white one. Just thought it tied in well with this DIY. And I'm just gonna reattach the knot so that way you do have a loop to hang it on a doorknob. Or if you guys do your spring trees or Easter trees, you guys can hang it from there as well. All 
All right, moving on to the third and final DIY. I picked up this cute little wreath from Michaels this year. They're only $1.50 at our store. Just cut off the tag. I was inspired by Pinterest. Um, I wanted to make a little mini bunny. So I had this um, wired jute twine already from the Dollar Tree. And I had formed an ear or a couple ears last year in some spring Easter DIY. So I had one. I couldn't find the other one. It must have fallen out somewhere and I do not know where it went. So I was able to make another ear. You guys just form it the way you want. You can make it even look like a floppy ear, but I just wanted them to look like they were straight up. And because the wreath and the ears were a different color, I wanted to try to match them up as much as possible. So I thought the Antique Wax um, by Waverly touched them up really nice and matched the wreath really well. And just to jazz it up a little bit more, I'm going to take some of these embellishments. I'm going to take some greenery. Again, these just these stems just came from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree really has a lot of different florals that you could choose from, which is amazing. Really good value as well. So just going to hot glue some greenery to the in between the bunny ears. I just made another simple shoelace bow with this cute ribbon from the Dollar Tree this year. I think this was out last year as well, but I couldn't get my hands on them last year. So I found one this year and I was so excited. The fact that it's burlap as well, I love, love, love it. So I'm gonna hot glue that to on top of the greenery. And going to make another little bow using this raffia. I'm just going to crisscross a few strings and I'm going to just tie a little knot in the center and cut the edges off as if I was cutting the edges off a tassel just to open up the loops. And then that way it would give it more of that frayed uh, look as well. So I'm just gonna hot glue that over top of the bow. So we're just layering things up here. And we are definitely coming to the end of this DIY. What do you guys think? This little bunny is so stinking cute in my opinion. You could use it as a tear tray. You could add a little jute twine to make it a little ornament as well. You could hang this on a gift basket for a friend or family member for Easter. Oh, I think they're so cute. You guys, you guys tell me which one was your favorite DIY out of this challenge. Thank you to Ellie and Tammy for choosing me as the co-host this month. I was super excited and honored to be um, chosen. Thank you so much. You guys know I do have an Instagram account, Shannon's Crafty DIYs. You can go over there, say hello to me there as well. I will definitely say hi back. I do a lot of, um, sh I show you what I find at the Dollar Tree, for instance. Um, and yeah, if you guys do like this sort of content, I love doing easy peasy budget friendly DIYs. A lot of the items do come from the Dollar Tree as well. I love to do little uh, shop with me videos and hauls as well. So please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and just give me a big thumbs up. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll definitely see you guys at the next video. Bye.